Hi friends, welcome to our channel. Now in this session we will discuss context free grammar. A grammar is represented in the format of four tuples V, T, P, S where V is the set of non-terminals. V is the set of non-terminals. T is set of terminals. T is set of terminals. Generally, non-terminals are represented in uppercase letter. Terminals are represented in lowercase letter. P is the production rules. S is the start symbol. S is the start symbol. These are the four tuples representation for any grammar. Now, to satisfy context-free grammar, to satisfy the context-free grammar, we have to define the production rule. How the production rules appear? A production rule appear is of the form A tends to alpha. Suppose if the rule is of the form A tends to alpha, where, where, remember the point, A belongs to V, where A belongs to V, that means A left hand side is a compulsory a non-terminal. Left hand side is a compulsory a non-terminal. And the length of the left hand side is always 1. The length of the left hand side is always 1. That is simple term. In left hand side, we have to contain one non-terminal. That is one variable. Non-terminals also called as variables. And alpha belongs to V union T whole star. That means the right hand side is any combination of terminals and non-terminals. Any combination of terminals and non-terminals. Here length is also not a matter. And including star means including epsilon also. Including epsilon also. Generally these context-free grammars generate context-free languages. These context-free languages are used for writing the programming. So for all programming languages uses this context-free grammar. Now consider an example. So this is the representation. Remember, this is the important rule. This is the rule for constructing the context-free grammar. Now, construct a context-free grammar. Construct a context-free grammar to generate palindromes to generate palindromes over the alphabets A gamma B. That is by using alphabets A gamma B, we are generating some palindromes. Suppose some set of palindromes A, A is a palindrome B, B. Suppose A, B, B, A. Suppose B, A, A, B. And so on. These are different types of palindromes. To generate these type of palindromes, we have to construct the context-free grammar. So the procedure is S is the start symbol. How the palindrome appears? Take any one example. Suppose if I am considering this one. If I am considering this one. How the palindrome appears? The first letter and the last letter must be same. The first alphabet and the last alphabet must be same. And in the middle we are writing reverse order. Suppose if our palindrome starts with A. And obviously the palindrome ends with A also. Suppose in between I am writing S. What is the meaning of this one? Suppose whenever a non-terminal appears, remember the point, whenever a non-terminal appears, that non-terminal is replaced with that non-terminal right side body. Suppose here S appears, this S is replaced with Again, ASA, that is the representation is A, S, A. Whenever S appears, I am replacing S, S for this A, S, A, A. See this one, A, 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 A. Satisfies the palindrome concept. Suppose if it starts with B, consider this example. If it starts with B, S tends to B, S, B. S tends to B, S, B. That is, either starts with A, or starts with B. Suppose in this case, if you want to write A, A, I am replacing this S with this one. B, S, B, A, A. 
This is also palindrome A A B B A A B. This is also palindrome. When to stop the procedure? Here, when to stop the procedure? That is, we have to generate a string of all terminals only. But we have a non-terminal. So finally, S is replaced with a single alphabet A or B or epsilon. A or B or epsilon. This is the procedure for generating palindrome. Suppose to normalize the question, I have to generate palindromes. Suppose you have to generate even palindromes only. My question is generate even palindromes. Even palindrome is the length of the palindrome is even. The length of the palindrome is even. What we will do? Suppose three three. So satisfied. Compulsory this value is null. This value is epsilon. Suppose two two. This value is epsilon. That is. In the last case, in the last case, S is replaced with epsilon only. That means these two are fixed. These two are fixed for even palindrome. S tends to epsilon only. S tends to epsilon only. Suppose all palindrome is compulsory. This S is replaced with either A or B. So S tends to either A or B. So depending on the question. We have to construct the grammar, and this grammar check whether the strings are accepted or not. This is the context-free grammar. In the next, we will discuss some more examples of construction of context-free grammar. Thank you.